Hello, 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 hello. I'm doing another edition of Freaky Friday and we're returning to Simpsons Hit and One and I shall be getting some awesome cheats laid down for you to say so because I always boasted about how I knew all these cheats throughout the um my walkthrough, so I thought it's about time that I show you my favourite ones, because there's quite a few of them to be honest. And the best example for showing you I always find is my favourite level, which is the first on my phone, just because it's nice and simple. And this one I play on, on um, the demo a bit, which made me fall in love with the game. And he's found his lost latches as well, and he's naked, so good times all around. But anyway, the first ones I'm going to go for, I'm just going to put some in now quickly. Won't spoil any surprises, hopefully they should work. You need to hold down, um, I, I, I think it's why, is it L1 and R1? But I'm not sure if it's L1 and R1 as well as um, um, L2 and R2. I hold down all four just in case, but sometimes, some people say you, 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 you can get away with doing all of them. Let's see if this works. Uh, the first bit worked. Um, the first cheat I used was um, triangle, 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 which gives you unlimited speed and makes you go incredibly fast. Very, very fast indeed. Now, I tried some other ones, they didn't work for some stupid reason. Sometimes they don't work first time round, you have to do them a couple of times. But, should work now, please? So we've got a speedometer. That's triangle, triangle, circle, square. And I've also put on um, invincibility, which is triangle X, triangle X. As you can see, I can throw myself into absolutely anything. And no damage happens. We can, and we can just blame it on Bart, and even though no damage was made to the car or anything. Thank God for no insurance. Anyway. Seriously, you can, have, you can have so much fun just driving around with all these cheats on. It's unreal. Let's get another one on now quickly. Because, I don't know. I wonder what other fun we can have. Well, this car sure can take a beating. Damn it, didn't work. Okay. I'm not going to do one where I put, um... Basically, it makes cars explode. Triangle, triangle, square, square. I tried triangle, square, triangle, square the first time. It's not that, actually. <laughs> That's a bit one. If you can get the cars, that is. The thing is, by putting unlimited speed on, it makes it, your car it's going to be hard to control. And with having um, the exploding the cars thing, it's only a matter of time before before the police get onto you. It's something, it's something like three of them. Three cars you need to explode, and you will be in doggy doo doos deep trouble basically. Anyway, yeah, you have great fun. The police can't really get you because you have, you, you, you have the upper hand basically. You can destroy them, they can't destroy you, they're just taking you down. And of course there are a lot more cheats. This is my favourite one, my all time favourite cheat. Square, 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 triangle. You fly into the air when you press L3 or in other words the horn, the left analog stick. I absolutely love this one. You can get some real good height of it, defying gravity and all that. No pun intended. It's also a great way of getting money really quickly, just exploding loads of cars. Anyway, so I played about with the police for a bit longer before before I remembered. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be doing cheats, aren't I? So my next one allows you to get all the bonus cards you could possibly dream of in um your little box there. You know, your, your, your phone box. Anyway. Let's see what I can find. This gives, this gives you like a uh, close. Oh my god, hit by a um, police car there. This, if you press R1, you get this little and does this, um, these words coming up. And this gives you every car in the game. And I, I don't just mean like um, like levels 1 to 7, I mean the bonus cars and all the random ones that you see on the road as well. These are all the bonus cars at the start. Such as my favourite, the um, RC buggy. You got the rocket as well. Rocket's quite a good one. Yeah, has to eat all sorts. Grabbing the car. There we go. Clearly got taken down there. Oh my god, this is incredibly hard to control. Oh. <laughs> god, this is like one of the fastest cars in the game. And even and with unlimited speed on, that gets really quickly. And just look at the speedometer. I'm going to like. 180, 240 speeds in a, in a couple of seconds. It's pretty much uncontrollable. It's not the sort of cheats that you want to have on doing like proper serious, proper hard missions because, well, at unlimited speed, you'd think that would help you, but actually, you often fail with it because it's just too hard to control. So I, I, I would recommend it. 
Anyway, my next weapon of choice is going to be one that actually annoys me quite a bit. This is um, one that gives you what's called as drunk mode, and it it really is quite annoying. But if if it's that's bad, we can then put on another little cheat, and that makes if that's called grid mode. And I've got a police thing for some reason. Damn it! But now, so you can barely see, uh, it's a great way for really tripping out if you're into that sort of thing. If that's any reason why I'm watching my videos to trip out, then you've got an even better way of doing it now. <laughs> I can barely even see where I'm driving here. The grid one's quite nice. It is interesting contrast, but the the blurry one just makes it. Uh, it's makes it feel a bit sick, to be honest. <laughs> well, I think there's one more I can show you in terms of um, um, cars. There's this thing called a red brick car. I'm not sure how it ties into the Simpsons hit and run universe, but um, well, where's the phone box? Not on this way, is it? Actually, oh, here we go, it's a phone box. There we go. Anyway, so I'm not sure how it ties in, really, and maybe you can get that with the all bonus cars cheat as well. I've not actually tried that yet, but anyway, this is a red brick cheat, which I found the other day, actually. I was looking online for some cheats, that, so some new ones to use. And it's quite a cool car, but first of all, I want to show you the Witch Broom, because I love the Witch Broom. Because you get all the, um, the Halloween cards as well, and it's quite interesting how, like, has, it hasn't really got a break of sort, and it's, um, it's horns quite cool as well. It's one of my favourite pedestrian cars, if you can really call it a car. Look at the speed we're going at. I'll turn myself over, that's how fast we're going from the impact. Anyway, where was, what was I doing? I was getting a red brick car, wasn't I? <laughs> yep, you better believe it, love. Only in Springfield. Right, let's just grab the red brick car then. It's quite an interesting device. Not one that I um, recognise myself from the series or from the other with many other hit and run references, but it's so so fast. Let me just show you. Kapow! See, I went through the actual game then. Is that is, 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 is that the whole point of the red brick thing that you meant to go that you can go through the game? But it's that fast that I've come out somewhere else. Surely I should be arrested for that for defying the game's physics. <laughs> Either that or the fact that I'm just walking around in my underwear. That's not a cause for concern. Anyway. The reason why I cut a bit out was because it was starting to annoy me a little bit. And I want to show you, because there's loads of ways that you can like manipulate the game and mess about with, with its glitches and that. But one of my favourite ones, apart from the game does, does it by itself right there, is here at the bridge. Because of course you can't go off the bridge usually, but get the horn um, cheat on. We get a good position, and just fly out down here, and we go splash underneath the, the water. And you can drive out here for absolutely miles. Until the glitch just becomes too awesome and we decompose. And we just vanish like that completely. It's manic. And I don't think there's any way you can really get the car back once you go out this far. But I do believe you can get out of the car. If we can slow down enough. Oh, we are there. We are there. That's good. And there we go. Home is too awesome for this glitch. Look at the car. What is it doing? I'm trying to find. Still, I'm, I'm still trying to get, get us back because it'd be good if I could get us back. Can't, we need to be seen. Okay, here we go. Now, you, you, you do quite okay walking around, but if you jump while you're walking or jump out of the car, you start participating in the never ending fall, and basically you're stuck there. No way of getting out. Apart from mission select on the, on the um, pause menu, just choose a mission and you'll be fine again. Um, but you'll probably keep most of the cheats on. That's it for my video. Hope you've enjoyed this Freaky Friday instalment. I shall see you soon.